step into my office. Let me put this up so it's not super loud. But hey, we are doing a little office tour today. So welcome to my office, my work from home desk, basically my bedroom. This is where I sleep. This is where I binge six episodes of White Lotus when I'm sick. This is where I have all of my calls. This is where I've done all of my job interviews. This is like where everything has happened in my entire life for the past year and a half, basically. <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to do a work from home office desk tour because I recently revamped my space a couple months ago. Believe it or not, I did not have a dedicated desk. I was like a floater in this one bedroom apartment with my boyfriend for a whole year. I was not super productive for like my mental health working from home and like being productive working from home. I got distracted so easily. So I got a new job in June and I was like, Lucia, you're getting a desk for this job because you've just been running around the apartment like crazy and not really enjoying working from home when I work from home like 90% of the time I work from home four out of the five days of the work week typically I only go in the office once a week so I was like we got to revamp my work from home desk setup I did a whole vlog setting this standing desk and walking pad up it was it was a lot you guys I'm proud of myself for doing it and we made it to the other side but I wanted to do a dedicated just tour of how my desk space has been. I've now had this set up for the past two months, I feel like, and it's been amazing. I'm obsessed with my walking pad. So yeah, let's kick off the tour. Okay, first, if you're new here, I'm Lucia. I'm 24. I live in Chicago and I work a nine to five in advertising. So that's why I'm using this bad boy for eight hours a day. <laughs> Sometimes more. And I love it oh my god these jeans are tight so basically my desk is an extension of my bedroom because the bedroom was here first it was just a bedroom for like a year um and occasionally i would come in and work from bed it's a really tight space we got going on here this wide angle lens is giving it much more room than there is in person so keep that in mind so yeah just a quick little overview of like how this fits into my bedroom over here we got the tv dresser stuffed to the brim with clothes candles in there very important over here i stuff like all of my tripods and like lighting stuff i use for content creation and acting stuff here's the bed takes up most of the space and the closet is like kind of open with the bedroom so the, there's a lot going on in <laughs> this room so i'm proud of these prints by the way got them for like six dollars online okay so my closet is a little bit of a mess but yeah we got clothes to the brim in there this is vicente's side my boyfriend and vicente's desk is in the other room so we have a one bedroom apartment i have a whole like apartment tour up i'm also going to do an updated one later this year but yeah just to give you a little gist of like what the room looks like and then next to the bed we have our two bedside tables which are also filled to the brim with stuff necessary stuff though you guys i'm not a hoarder and here my favorite little area of the apartment i have all my jewelry so that's kind of everything that's around my desk this was the only spot left in the whole apartment for me to put a desk and i really wanted it in a separate room from vicente because we're always on calls at the same time and that just makes it really hard to talk and everything so that's why the desk is here so this is a standing desk it goes up and down right now i have it up because i just finished the work day like 30 minutes ago and i was using my walking pad and then i got changed into this cozy little outfit because vicente and i are gonna go out for ramen in a little bit yeah that's why it's already up so that's a little overview of like my bedroom and the desk setup and everything now i'll go through all the bits and pieces of my desk everything i have on my desk as you can see, it's very minimal and simple. I feel like you don't really need that much. Like really at work, I only use my laptop and I just like having a clear space, clear mind. So I really like to keep my desk set up extremely minimal. So on the wall next to the desk, we have these cute little floating shelves that I got for my college apartment, which was like two apartments ago. And I just love them. So they've stayed with me and we just have like random trinkets. This was already here before I set up this whole like desk section. So it's really just like bedroom decoration but we have some awards which are very desk -y. I, I don't know if that's a word but like it's it's giving academics so it goes with the vibe of like being studious and everything so I got this award for outstanding student in my business minor in college just so cute that was like two years ago um Sente got an award for model UN again this is a shared space so it's like it's not like my own dedicated office space it's an extension of my bedroom that I share with my boyfriend so that's why there's like not everything here is like 100% mine but 
we share the space. And then up here, this is a snow globe, which is a gift that I got Vicente for, I think our second anniversary of being together. And then this is a train. That's Vicente's, I won't get into why he has a model train, but it's cute. And then you can see like the very top of my vision board, but really you can only see my vision board when my desk is down. So we'll get into that later. So now for the circumference of the desk, I feel like circumference is used for like only circular things. For the surface area, right? Yeah, the surface area of the desk, the surface of the desk for what's on my desk. Okay, so for context, I don't have like any sort of drawers under my desk. This is like a very, very simple desk other than the fact that it, you know, moves up and down like an elevator, but there's no like contraptions. I don't really have any organizers on it. Like it is, it's very simple. So let's go through everything that I have on my desk, which is not a lot. Okay, number, not me breaking this succulent. <laughs> so number one, I have a succulent. I got this actually in college from a friend, like my freshman year of college, so I've had this for a long time. Fun fact, I thought it was a real succulent when I first got it as a gift, <laughs> and I watered it a few times. Yeah, it's a fake succulent, and I love that because it stayed with me for all these years, and it's so cute. I just, I love fake plants because I'm so bad at keeping plants alive. So I just have that there for like a cute little decoration moment, to be honest. I had no other place in my apartment for it and it was kind of crowding a certain area so I was like oh I have a new desk I'll put it on my desk but I really like it I think it's a good tiny small minimal addition it doesn't get in the way of any of my work streams or anything that's happening so I love it sometimes I put it on my window seal if my desk is down but I do open my window a lot because I love getting the fresh air in so sometimes I have to put it on the actual desk but I love putting it on the window seal when I can because that just opens up even more space for me on my desk because I get claustrophobic really easily <laughs> when I'm working at my desk. So everything needs to be away. All right, next I have this notebook from Papier. I love them. It has my name on it. And basically this is where I write out all of my affirmations and what I'm grateful for. I like to keep it on my desk, even though it does take up space because writing down what I'm grateful for on my affirmations every morning is super duper important to my morning routine. So if I forget, this kind of like reminds me in the middle of the day that I need to do that. When you're planning your workspace and your desk setup, I like to be very intentional about the things I'm keeping on my desk because if I keep like a slinky on my desk, I'm always at my desk. So I'm gonna play with that slinky way more than if I had a slinky in like a drawer underneath my bed. So I like to have things that are gonna keep me productive and that are like beneficial to the habits I wanna have when I'm working or just like in my typical day, stuff that's really gonna distract me. Not that a slinky is like super distracting, but like I would never go out of my way to play with a slinky, but if it was right here, I would totally do it. So it's kind of the same concept with like my affirmation journal. Like if my affirmation journal is tucked away in a backpack in my closet. It's like 1 p.m. I'm coming back from my lunch break and I'm like, oh, I forgot to do my affirmations today. If this notebook is not on my desk and it's far away from me, like I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna do it. But it being on my desk makes it super easy for me to stay true to this habit. So that's why I'm very intentional about what I put on my desk. Another thing I'm very intentional about keeping on my desk is a water in a giant mason jar with a straw because I love drinking with straws. Drinking with straws helps me drink so much water and we love hydration. And I have to have this little like cushiony straw because I bite my straws. I know some people think that's disgusting. I'm sorry, but I just, I do it. I do it. Oh, and I always have this coaster that I got actually from an influencer event. I realized that they spelled <laughs> my name wrong in this, but I still love it, it's beautiful. So that when I see this on my desk and it doesn't have a water on top of it, that reminds me like, oh, I need to go fill up my water before I get so ingrained in this work for a couple hours that I forget about drinking, drinking water, of course. <laughs> yeah, and then also, so going back to my notebook, right under my notebook, I have my daily stoic book. So I love this book. I'm really bad about doing it every day. That's another reason why I keep it on my desk to try to remind me to do it. But it's basically this book by Ryan Holiday and there's a passage for every single day out of the year, even on leap year days. <laughs> basically it has some sort of quote from either Seneca, Epictetus, I don't know how to say their names, which is really bad, but basically they're Stoics and it has some sort of like modern day interpretation right after it. And it's it's just some sort of like mantra or reminder, like being kind to people. Like it's just a positive mantra or thoughtful provoking passage to help start your day and help to sort of like reflect upon. So I love reading this before I do my affirmations. 
so I keep that on my desk as well. And then I also have these two cute papier pens that I love because I feel like I always need a pen for something when I'm at my desk and it's just better to have it there instead of getting distracted and having to go search for it, so. I love these pens, they're so cute and fun. Okay, so I have one sort of like junk drawer on my desk. I have this little rustic wood fixture thing that I can basically store stuff in. It's not super organized, not gonna lie. <laughs> I put in so much random shit, but mainly I put in like all of my cords. So I obviously have like my nine to five, but I also do content creation. Also obviously because like you're watching this YouTube video and I post on YouTube, so that's, that's pretty obvious, but for content creation, there's like a lot of technical stuff that you have to keep track of. So I just like to keep track of everything important in here. Like this is my SD card, which literally has my life in it. Or wait, no, sorry. This is my SD card. This is my hard drive. My brain is not working. So we have that. I have these random like highlighters that I honestly, I don't use very much. I, I never really highlight things, so maybe I should take those out. And then I have some gift cards that I keep forgetting to use. So just important things that I don't wanna lose. So that's all I keep in there. And then next, of course, we have my work laptop. I mean, that's a given. Honestly, this is kind of like always floating around, always going with me to work vice versa but if i'm working it's definitely here can't work without it and i like to just keep it plugged in okay <laughs> i like to just keep it plugged in and i basically just loop the cord so i have this extension cord under my desk and i basically just loop the cord up and over so the cord comes in from this way because it's like my pet peeve when cords are just so like scattered all over the desk. Sometimes I'm bringing in my personal laptop and I have that cord too. So I just like to keep all the cords coming up from this side of the desk just to keep things super organized because having cords all scattered around the place is just, just it just drives me crazy. <laughs> all right, so that's everything that's on top of my desk. Before I put my desk back down, I wanna show you guys more of the walking pad. So I, as I said, I work from home a lot and I feel like that kind of has made me live sort of a sedentary lifestyle for the past couple of years. I always try to get like my morning workout or post work workout in and I love fitness and going on walks and stuff like that. But some days there's just so many calls. It's really hard to go on a walk like in the middle of the work day. And it's really good to just like get your body moving, like not just at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day, but like kind of all throughout the day. So especially with my new job, I feel like there's so many calls back to back and it's really hard for me to find time to escape and just go for a short little walk. So I got this walking pad so I could get more steps in throughout the day. I have a goal of getting like 10,000 steps every day. And this has really been helping me achieve that goal so much more frequently than I was before I had this walking pad. So I love it. It's also my plan for the Chicago winter. It's gonna be so hard to go on as many walks as I do right now outside. So I'm thinking that for Chicago winter work from home days, this is gonna be so clutch to help me get my steps in. So that's kind of my logic behind getting the walking pad. So as I said, the setup is very tight. So this is the chair that goes under my desk when my walking pad isn't here and when I move my desk down. So when I have my walking pad here, I just kind of move my chair this way yeah the walking pad ends and then my bed begins here so it's not a lot of distance in between i kind of have to scoot my bed back a little bit whenever i'm putting my walking pad down but yeah it's a little tight in the room but when i'm at my desk i really don't notice how tight it is like because i'm just focused on like what's right in front of me and then after the work day i just close everything up and honestly it fits quite nicely it's really simple you can basically just put the speed up put the speed down start it or stop it there has been one time when i dropped my remote and i was on the treadmill and i had to call Vicente to come in here and like get the remote for me because i was too scared to like jump off it i mean it doesn't go super fast i normally walk like two miles per hour so I would have been fine if I was alone to just like jump off it safely, but obviously you're not like supposed to do that. So yeah, I like having the hook because <laughs> sometimes if I just like leave it on the actual desk, it just falls off or I drop it or I accidentally swipe it with my elbow. So I try my best to just keep it on the hook at all times. Let me just start it for you guys so you can see how it works. Woo! And just like that, it's really easy, really simple. I love it. Okay, so now I wanna show you guys what my desk looks like when it's moved down and I'm sitting. Cause honestly, that's how I use it the majority of the time. I wish I walked on it more um, because sometimes I just get lazy. So let's take it apart. Just unplug it. 
You've probably seen me do this like a million times in my vlogs. Okay. And then it has wheels at the bottom, which is really nice. Whew. Now me getting tired. And then we just move it over. And then I move this chair in. I always get anxiety thinking that this is gonna scratch the wood floor. All right, perfect. And then now I'm just gonna bring this down with the little keypad that I have on the outside of the desk. Perfecto. All right, so this is the vibe sitting down. Sometimes I get one of my Squishmallows and I put it behind my back as a little pillow. I should probably get something a little more ergonomic, but that's for another video. And yeah, so this is like a little bit of a different view of the bedroom now. I feel so short down here. But yeah, now you can see my vision board. So, yay, I love it, I'm so proud of it. This is my vision board for 2023. And I had it in my closet a while when I didn't have a dedicated workspace. And then when I set up this desk, I was like, what should I put here? And then I was like, oh my God, my vision board. And honestly, it's such a game changer having it here because I never looked at it, <laughs> like hardly ever when it was in my closet. Cause when I'm in my closet, I'm always like rushed, just like picking out clothes. But I'm like sitting here just like, thinking, absorbing, reading, emailing. Like I'm sitting here for hours and hours and hours. I'm in my closet for like two minutes. And this is where I work. And this is where I like work on achieving my dreams. And this vision board is my dreams. So I love having this here to just like remind me of what I'm working towards because there's so many times when I'm sitting here that I want to procrastinate that I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this job? I'm not good enough. And then, I mean, as cheesy as it sounds, then I'll like look over and see this vision board and I'm like, oh my God, like, I need to keep going because I need to pay my respects to this January 1st, 2023 girl who has all these dreams and hopes and ambitions and I know that that girl is still inside me. Anyway, so I love having this here. It really inspires me and it just keeps everything like super top of mind and it's like in the forefront of my mind, of what I'm thinking about, which I think is really good and just conducive and helpful to help me achieve my dreams. So I love having it there. And that is my desk setup. Super simple. I feel like I'm really not that much of a minimalist, but with my desk space, I totally am. So super duper simple, but I hope this gave you guys some inspo. If you don't have a standing desk or walking desk, I hope this made you think about it a little bit more. It truly has been like, the greatest upgrade that I've made for my work from home balance, life, mental well-being, productivity, like it is the best. Whenever I'm on a call and I'm like, oh, this call, and I just go on my walking pad, it makes the call 110 times better. So yeah, I hope this gave you some inspo. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything I have, my setup or anything like that or anything else. If you haven't subscribed yet, I post every Sunday and Wednesday. So subscribe so you don't miss all my videos. I do a lot of like work week and my life vlogs and stuff like that. It's a good time. So thank you guys for hanging out with me while I show you guys my desk set up and I will catch you guys later. Bye.